Good morning iFam, just started this vlog about three times because Chris keeps moaning about the camera. <laughs> you loved this camera when we first bought it. He says it's, it's rubbish. Got, it's, got no, it's, not, it's got flaws. It's got flaws. It's got flaws. It go. He's taken multiple pictures and they're all grainy and horrible. It's Maybe you just don't know how to use it. No, it's not just that, it's the... Um, me not know how to use the camera, you're taking the mic. <laughs> it's not as good as the 90D. He's saying we're going to have to buy the 90D when we get home because this camera is just not as good. There's a massive boat on oh, it, it's not, it's a person. <laughs> what I mean was I can only very slightly see through the trees and loads of people walking in a line. It looked like it looked like it was a boat There's because the behind you. <laughs> There's a little mini os. Because they were not all moving together as a big lake there. Anyway, good morning guys. It's actually about 1 pm in the afternoon now. The girls had tutor sessions this morning, so we had to start the day a little bit later. And we've been clearing around, we've been sorting out the van. There's a big bag of washing there that we need to get done at some point. It's not like soiled washing or anything like that, it's just like dirty washing. I brought my handbag on the trip and I put a few bits in it and then it just got stuffed like down the side of the seat and we've just not touched it since. There's a few things in there that um you can eat, obviously, but they're not perishable, so they're still all right. Anyway, because it's like, ew, look, they've been in there since we started the trip, but they're fine. Anyway, we are almost done now. The girls' schooling's finished. We're about to pack up the van, get everything organised. It's so loud and noisy here on the road. <laughs> get every pardon. Got loads of kidney beans and stuff. In I forgot. About got loads of beans and things. Road. I know. Loads of tins. I forgot yeah, we'll have to eat them. Um, we're about to get the van all packed up, and we're making our way into Germany. I think we're about two hours away, right? About two hours from the borderish. Did you definitely want to go to Germany? Or are we going back to the UK? I know. You, I know you were upset last night because it was a bad night. Do you want to go back? Mummy paddy in the night, wasn't I? Do you want to Guys, go back? it was like quarter past three, and I no, it's quarter past four. Sorry. Quarter past four. It's quarter past four, and I'd not gone to sleep yet. Mila. Okay, if you want to go back, it's totally fine. I did say in the night we're going to have to go home. I can't, I can't do it anymore, we're going to have to go home. Because I can't sleep train her in the van. Like, I can't. There's no way. She doesn't have a cot, she doesn't have a bed. And I've been absolutely fine with co-sleeping. This is probably a story for another day. I've been fine with co-sleeping. I co-slept with Jace until he was about one year old. And I've been absolutely fine with it. Mila's only just turned one. But shh. <laughs> But I feel like, oh my gosh, I'm ready to like have my bed back. She Mila, does not Mila sleep. Like Mila's Grace so much like harder than Jace. Mila does not sleep. Oh, she's like, no, but me. we've done the same with Jace as we did with Mila. Apart from we introduced a bottle and a dummy to Jace a bit earlier and he took them. Whereas Mila hates bottles and dummies. She will take a bottle. She started to like, she, she, she will take it sometimes if there's like one milking, but only for like a few sucks and then she's done. Anyway, she's a horrendous sleeper. It was like half past four this morning and I'd not gone to sleep yet because every time I'm feeding her and then the second I move away, she wakes up. Oh, it's just, it was just a nightmare. I was like, I need to go home. I need to start, I need to start train, sleep training her and I need to go home. But there's only like a, a week or two left. We should finish, I can't go home. Isabel would literally not, Isabel would not talk to me if we went home. She's been looking forward to Germany so much. Anyway, we're about to get on the road, head to Germany. Also guys, in the kindest way possible, I wasn't asking for advice on sleeping and sleeping routines. I know what I need to do with Mila. I know we need to have her in her own. Oh, are you joking me? Oh my gosh, there's a wasp. And we've got it out like five times now. And it goes and it flies off and then two minutes later it's back in the van. Is it gone? Yeah. Anyway, I do know what I need to do with Mila. Um, I wasn't asking for like advice or anything like that. Sometimes when I mention Mila sleeping, um, people say you need to do this or you should stop doing that, etc, etc. So I just wanted to say, um, just to save you, write in those comments that I don't need advice. Um, I just voice in my frustration on having no sleep for a year and a bit. Center. Oh my gosh, it's so, so nice. So I'm just keeping an eye out because there's a lady giving out tickets just down the way and we've parked in a no parking space just because we're trying to find a parking space that we can go to with the van. So we're on park for night. We've arrived at Oktoberfest. We don't actually know what Oktoberfest's all about. We did a quick search online, but other than beer and some rides, not sure what else it entails. So we're really looking forward to going checking that out. I need to set back off and get Mila back in the seat. <laughs> Not much longer. So we've been driving around for longer than I care to admit now and it's absolutely rammed every single way you look and we can't find a driving space, a, a parking space. There's literally none anywhere. It's so, so busy everywhere. Why are we still driving? Are we at the point where we're kicking off? Looking for a car parking space. Wait, what tune am I singing there? Uh, what, what song is it? Oh, come on, you faithful. 
<sighs> right, we're giving it five more minutes because we've been driving around for about two hours and there's nowhere to park. We found one, have we? Found one. He's going to check the meter, see if we're actually allowed to park here. If we're not, we're going home. Don't come to any city centre in a camper van. It's the worst thing you can do. Is it going to be a yes? Is it going to be a no? He's going to leave us hanging for 10 minutes while he studies. Yeah, I think we're good. Don't dare tell me no. I think we're good. I just need to get a nap. Definitely? Yeah, I think we're good. Get excited? Yeah, the kiddos, I mean, we're about half an hour, 40 minute walk from where we're going, but, you know. It's about, it should be about 20 from here, Andy. Yes, love. 20? We drove about 20. You want to get out? My darling. Out. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. I think we are, so we paid for parking, we've got ourselves all cozied up and warm, we're just sorting out, I'd say the vlog, but actually it's a reason as to why we're not uploading the vlog, because the MacBook's broken and died. <laughs> we need to sort that out, how are we going to sort that out? <laughs> it'll be fine tonight, I have to reformat the whole thing, so it's just going to take hours. Be okay. it's, just, it's just gonna take over the whole day. We won't be able to do anything or film a vlog today if we stop doing that. So unfortunately there's no vlog tonight. Look how cute these two look. Oh, you look adorable. And Rocky is about to hoodie. So he cute. looks better than him. Oh me then it just hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Rocky. <laughs> hat is literally having my life. One of you guys sent it. And I, I love it. You. Esme's yes. going to make one. Come here, mate. Good boy. It's so adorable. <laughs> Okay. She's smiling at Jace. Yeah. Where's Jace? Oh. Oh, <laughs> I don't think she's gonna do that right now, Isla. <laughs> Jace, don't squish her face. Her superhero name is Miwi. <laughs> Miwi. Yeah. Miwi. <laughs> So we just walked past a Euro, what was it, Euro what? Euro shop, I think. Euro, it's a Euro shop, it's like a pound shop, but a Euro one. So we just came in and I'm loving all of the Halloween bits. In fact, there's some really adorable, um, not Halloween, but kind of autumn themed cuteness. So I've picked a few bits up for Mila's bedroom before we get home, but look at all this stuff. So cute. Also, I don't know why, but I've currently got an obsession with toadstools and um, mushrooms. And look how cheap they are. It's not, actually, I've just realized it's not a Euro shop. It did say Euro something, but it's clearly not just everything like one Euro. This is like the key to what I want to be for Halloween. <laughs> I'm sure everyone can guess. Yeah, I'm not, not even gonna lie, this looks madness. We've just rocked up at Oktoberfest. Oh, yeah. It's so busy, there's so many people. Everywhere is mad. This looks like Rides the coolest thing I've ever seen. Like, you see, like, um, um, what's the thingy park? What's the word I'm looking for? Fairground. Uh, is that the right word? Yeah. Fairgrounds, okay. You see them all the time and they look cool. This, I'm like, this is actually huge. Yeah, it's really like, This is huge. It's madness. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there's a lot of drunk people about. Like, maybe Friday night. Wasn't the best time to do this, I don't know. Also, we no, did not no, get really the dress code because there's a lot of people in like cool, like All the traditional gear. looking German outfits. We went to the Euro shop just now that Sarah filmed and there was an outfit, like there was a woman's Bavarian outfit for sale for one euro fifty. And I was like, babe, just buy it and I'll, I'll rock it. <laughs> yeah, but I'll no, rock it for the video. The First of all, it was a medium sized <laughs> woman, so no offense, Dad, but I don't think it would have fit. Yeah, and also, he was saying, well, I'm not taking my joggers off, I'll just put them over the top of my joggers. Yeah, why not? It would have worked look fine. So it looks cold stupid. tonight. It's very cold here. It looks stupid. Did you get the queue to get in? Oh, my goodness me. Oh. oh my goodness, we just got into Oktoberfest. We weren't sure what to expect here and we didn't expect, I, I kind of expect it to be really busy and I kind of guessed that it'd be like Hyde Park at Christmas. It's exactly like that. But because of that, I said we should take the backpack as well as the prams, so Jay's been wearing one of them. And it's a good job we did because no prams are allowed in here after 6 p.m. and it is after 6 p.m. right now. It looks so cool. There's so many cool rides here, but also so many cool beer tent thing in the what is. Look at this one here in the background. It's actually spinning around. Slowly Only spinning. very slowly, obviously, but it's still spinning around. It looks really cool. Really, really cool. Yeah, I'm going to go really fast. Yeah, I'm going to go. 
Yes, Jace. It's gotta be done. Five euro bratwurst. It's about ten foot long. Well, you can't get yourself one of these at the Christ Kindle Market in Leeds. <laughs> Five euro, ten foot long. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my goodness! Is it good, Isla? It's amazing. Is it good? Is it good? We were just looking at this roller coaster here. It's nine euros to have a turn on this roller coaster. So Isla was saying she better people save up all year to come because the queue is massive. Like there's at least a hundred people in that queue right now. And I was saying, it's weird because even though we physically could go on that ride now, and Isabel was saying as well, I could never justify like almost 50 pound for us all to have a turn on it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not taking you on it either darling if it's 10 euros. <laughs> I'm only joking, it won't be 10. If it's anybody else like that, stop it with your blooming sausage. It's really tight. <laughs> Thanks for the bow. <laughs> yeah, is anybody else like that? Would you do it? No. If you came here and you were rich, rich then. One ride for two minutes, I don't think so. If you were rich, would you do it? If I was rich? Yeah. I don't know. I, I wouldn't. I, no, I couldn't. Oh, no. I couldn't. I just couldn't. Because I'd always be thinking like, that was just a two minute ride and what else could I get with that money? Would you do it? If you were rich? I mean, if we were like super, super rich, then I'd do it. Like, if I had like 20 million in the bank. Well, then yeah, I'd do it, obviously. Maybe. But like. If I was a trillionaire, if I'd still the same, I'd still like, even if I could just join it. Money sometimes. I don't mean you should just do it. No offense you know to I mean? anybody that does like, come and do it. But I just couldn't enjoy it. It's like when we go out for, sometimes when we go out for like meals and things, I don't like to go to posh restaurants because I don't no. enjoy my meal when I'm paying yeah, like Mum's more, more, more extreme than anyone. I am a bit extreme when it comes to that, Anna. Yeah, I'm like £3.50 for a can of Coke. Oh, yeah, Mum, you can have you're all right. <laughs> Chris is like, enjoy your life, get a Coke. I'm like, no, I'll have tap water. No, I'm, I won't enjoy the Coke knowing I'm paying that much. I've been ripped off. <laughs> So good. First bite. It weighs like an elephant. <laughs> Live up to expectations. I mean, it looks real good. <laughs> <laughs> Look at 
been a laugh and it's so funny. It takes you up like a hundred miles an hour. <laughs> She's going for it. She's going. Oh, oh. she fell! <laughs> <laughs> that work of theirs, literally. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, he's done it. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. It's the best. It's going. Hey, you did it. Yeah. <laughs> it's literally crowds of people just watching them go up. <laughs> adventure now okay no beer yet but this is pretty cool it's four euros for five. A Pepsi. five euros for a Pepsi but when you take your bottle back you get a euro back from that so it's actually four euros it's, they're kind of like collecting all the trash up the plastic trash so I just said good. I would dream about paying um, ten euros for a ride and I've been four for a bottle of Pepsi that makes me get enjoyment Jason Miller, like even Isla, in fact, all the children. We got to go over there. Yeah, we got to go over there. It's so rammed. Just managed to squeeze into one of the outdoor tents. Wow. Give myself a German beer. Can't be done. It's a tragedy. Oh my gosh, it's a Without coming here. It's a very good round. It's a very good round. It's so cool. It's so cool. I felt it would be a bit of a tragedy to come all the way to Germany and not have a beer at Oktoberfest. So. Wow. We did bring baby wipes and look at the absolute state of her coat. Are the baby wipes in the pram actually? In the pram. Look at the state you feel! She definitely had a taste, taste of Isla's coffee apple. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, that one too bad. That was 9 50 euros for that pint. Um, but when you take your token back that you get with the beer, you get three euros back, so it's six fifty. You just charge that to three pounds, like a deposit for the, the glass, I guess. Okay, Esme, Esme and Isabel, actually, you get one as well as in. Come on, they're about to try one of these. I don't know what they are, but they're a cool German-looking treat. So. They look really good. So you get them wrapped up on this thing and then rolled out. 
and then a bit of um, spritz on them, a bit of oil yeah, or something. Like, there was one that was really easy to make and like I did them at home. Yeah, no, but, but really no, good. we would never be able to make that. <laughs> right, which one do you want guys? Which one is low to different one? Oh my gosh, that looks so good! It's like a tunnel! Full of Nutella. Isabel got... Cinnamon! Look how hot that is! Smoke! 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 Steam coming off it, Tommy. It's like a tunnel. Wait, look, watch my glasses. I don't know if you'll see it. I can't see it, but my glasses are gone. What do you think? It's so good! Is it good? Oh my god! I got my face near it. Um, Esme wanted a cinnamon one. No, sorry, the other way around. It's not like cinnamon. And um, Esme wanted a Nutella one. What's the true buy? Um, a cinnamon. I got you a cinnamon. Are good? Yes, yeah, good. Can I get in the front? <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Are you gonna race? Yeah. <laughs> Oktoberfest. I'm not joking. <laughs> that was that was such a good night. We didn't even go on any rides really, but it was just it was just such a good atmosphere. Everyone was jolly. Everyone was happy. Everyone the beer tent. It was so funny. The amount of people we saw spewing <laughs> was something else. There's there was this. There, yeah. Also, because I want to go on the car ride. You did, didn't you? You went on that race car. <laughs> You did. Yeah. I'm carrying Jace because legs are hurting. Probably would make more sense to carry Mila because Jace is a bit heavy, but you know, nearly four. But this is still good. And Mila's been in the seat for a while, so I don't want her to be in this for any longer. Anyway, what did that boy do, Isabel? Oh, the boy was sick. Yeah. To be fair, he didn't even look old. Like he didn't even look. He looked about 14. He looked he obviously about 14. Wasn't. Yeah, probably. Mm, oh, probably no. about 18. He probably really? was 18. I yeah. think he looked it. Do you reckon? Maybe. He maybe just looked young, but anyway, he was, um, he got off this ride, um, came over to the side and literally spewed it everywhere. For about five but, minutes. But like, for about five minutes, right, and then halfway through this five minutes, like three minutes after he's been sick, it, it gets up and it goes, and then, and then it goes, uh, and then it goes, wait a minute. And then he's sick again. And then, so and then funny. And then he walked off and then he got on another ride. And, and then he went and got another ride, yeah. I was like, oh, what a life. What a life. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you, you Germans, they're just ace. I love it, it's so well, like, cool. Everyone who's dressed up and everyone's like, dressed up and around and laughing. Yeah, everyone's really so happy. Oh, oh yeah, we need to wait yeah, we're 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 walking home. The, uh, back to the van. Wait, it's so fun. Oh damn. Oh, 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 oh damn. Oh. No, oh, okay. no, it, it was even worse. There were some oh, drunk men um, just outside a ride, and this is where everyone had spewed after this one spurt. Right, do you know the one that we were speaking about before? But yeah. that girl who ran. Yes. There's this, there's like this basically a sick pit. Because <laughs> everyone who gets off that ride and runs to that corner. corner. Anyway, oh, some yeah, men ran saying. over to that corner, and they were yeah. obviously sick in the corner. They're so drunk out of their minds, they're rolling, we're rolling in it. In everyone's. They're and rolling in everyone's. And then the police came over. I was like, get up. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was fun. <laughs> We're making it sound like it was a complete drunken pit. It wasn't. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was, it was just it a few wasn't. funny moments in, of the night. Yeah, like, it was. It was honestly really fun. Everyone was in good spirits. The beer tents were oh. so cool. It oh. was. It was very family friendly, right? Family. It wasn't it was like a, like a scary drunken no, weird it wasn't. fest. It was. There's people it was awesome. dancing. There's people yeah, it hugging. Cool. It was just so lovely. Atmosphere. It's also very large. So when we say there was someone spewing and rolling in spew, this was a tiny little corner of like a tiny little weenie section of it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. But the rest of it was like right. massive. It's huge. Yeah. It was. Um, so, <laughs> so straight up. So for anyone wondering, it is kind of like Hyde Park at Christmas, but I feel like it's bigger. Like, it's so bigger, and the rides are insane. Maybe that's just because we're not used to some of the rides that were there. It was a novelty. I don't know, but it was really good. And um, we had a really, really, really good time. <laughs> I was moaning about paying three pound fifty for a can of Coke. And then How Chris we spent 100 euros. And then Chris spent 10 pound on a pint of beer. 10 euros. Yeah, yeah, yeah but you get three. <laughs> to be fair, I got three back. Anyway, <laughs> it was worth it. 
it. It was a really good night and I was just saying to Chris how crazy it was that yesterday, which was just a few hours ago, we were literally in the snow up a mountain in Austria. Hey! <laughs> So wriggle out there, mate. <laughs> You're dancing. I was saying how cool it was that literally yesterday, just a few hours ago, we were at the top of a mountain in the snow in Austria. <laughs> and now today we're at Oktoberfest in Germany. Van life is the best. Right, we've got about half an hour walk now to get back to the van. So we've just got to our park for the night. We could actually have stayed in the spot that we'd parked at, but it was right in the city centre. It was right near quite a busy road. It was on quite a busy road, should I say? And there's trams and things going past, and I just think it wouldn't have been too much of a restful night. We did actually pay for parking for like the whole night, but we decided to move on. So we've moved on to a place around the corner. No. We've got so lucky. No. I think this place is like one euro fifty for 24 hours. <laughs> And this is obviously how good it is. There's already so many all around. Uh, these vans, camper vans, and just loads of, loads of campers really. And as I've mentioned loads and loads and loads of times on this trip, I always feel so much better when we're packed up in a spot like this where there's lots of other campers a lot. So doing like the same thing. It's like a full-on campsite? It's like, yeah, it's actually like a full-on campsite, except it's one oh, pound fifty, and you don't get electricity. We just went to pay the parking. Oh um, my, so. Oh my, what? There's a massive shield bug in our bed. I just no, got, it's wow, your bug. Yeah, I, I get it. Now. I get it. I was just laying in the bed, and it's crawling on me. Hashtag van life as well. I get it. I get it. <laughs> anyway, we're going to end the vlog here. Thank you all so, so much for watching. We hope you'll come back tomorrow to see what we get up to at 5pm. Okay, bye guys.